much would you pay for your favorite movie prop? Well, it turns out many fans are willing to pay a fortune for them, but only if you have the deep pockets for those hectic bids. Remember that classy Aston Martin driven by James Bond in Goldfinger? It currently holds the record for the most expensive original movie memorabilia ever auctioned at $6.4 million. Horror movie posters and other memorabilia have also hit auction houses with a bang, selling for super high prices. Today, we'll be talking about the most expensive scary movie props. Jack Nicholson's Axe the Shining, 1980, $209,000. The Shining has risen to the top of all-time horror movie rankings with a record-breaking global fan base, which is why fans would go crazy for this axe. It went up for auction at the BFI IMAX auction in Waterloo, London in October 2019 alongside other horror movie memorabilia. The axe was still in perfect shape with scratches from the famous door breaking scene still visible, which took fans by surprise. The hectic bidding process lasted an entire 12 minutes, with the winning bid clocking in at $209,000. It was over five times what the auction house expected the axe to fetch. Ripley's Spacesuit Alien 1979 $204,000 What scared you the most about Ridley Scott's Alien made in 1979? Whether it was the long, piercing alien teeth or the scary, slimy aliens, you definitely loved it in the end. Most of the items from the original 1979 Alien were auctioned at the Hollywood Memorabilia Auction in the 90s, although they didn't fetch much then. It was, however, featured again at the Icons and Heroes of Hollywood Auction in 2018. The jumpsuit, with heavy ivory panelling and fiberglass, sold for $204,000, becoming the most expensive sci-fi horror movie memorabilia ever sold. Zuni Doll – Trilogy of Terror – $204,000 Anyone who believes television can't serve up the spooky stuff hasn't seen 1975's Trilogy of Terror the made-for-TV anthology movie written by horror legend Richard Matheson and directed by Dan Curtis. While the first two segments are forgettable, the third, Amelia, has endured. A lonely single woman, Karen Black, is terrorized in her apartment by a Zuni fetish doll, which she intended to be a gift for her boyfriend, but that came to violent life. In 2019, the prop doll sold at a Profiles in History auction for a staggering $204,000, blowing away pre-auction estimates of $12,000 to $15,000. Freddy Krueger's Costume – A Nightmare on Elm Street 5 – The Dream Child – $14,900. Char-broiled villain Freddy Krueger haunted cinemas for much of the 1980s. The fourth sequel, 1989's A Nightmare on Elm Street 5 – The Dream Child, provided the scars and Krueger's classic look that fans had come to expect. Actor Robert Englund's wardrobe from that film, including the familiar hat and iconic red and green sweater, came up for sale during a premier props auction in 2014, and it sold for $14,900. Gilman Mask – Revenge of the Creature – $70,000 one of Universal's marquee monsters was the Gill Man, the submerged monster from 1954's Creature from the Black Lagoon. The character was designed by effects artist Bud Westmore, who was inspired by the Oscar statue bestowed during the Academy Awards. 
He wondered what the blank-faced design would look like with a fish head and fins. A mask used during the filming of the 1955 sequel, Revenge of the Creature, stayed in the Westmore family for decades before it was offered by Profiles in History in 2009 and sold for $70,000. Alien Chest Burster $43,000 Sure, the full-size aliens from the first flick and its sequels scared the snot out of you. But if forced to pick the single most terrifying scene in the franchise, it has to be the bloody shock of an infant alien exploding from John Hurt's chest in the 1979 original. It even freaked out the cast, including Veronica Cartwright, who reportedly passed out. After the junior alien bed teeth screeched and scurried off the table, the screen-used model sold at a 2004 Bonhams auction for roughly $43,000. The buyer was British pop artist Christa Berg, begging the question, who on earth is Christa Berg? Ah, maybe you know his hit song, Lady in Red. Ripley's Flamethrower Aliens, 1986, $108,000. In the Aliens sequel in 1986, Sigourney Weaver appeared with this badass looking flamethrower. As it turns out, it was a real work of art, built from parts of a grenade launcher, an M16 rifle, and an M203 grenade launcher. It was also sold at the Icons and Heroes of Hollywood auction in 2018 alongside the spacesuit. It also raised eyebrows after fetching $108,000, way over its initial naming price of $40,000 to $60,000. It was still in perfect shape, with the armband and the rifle receiver still intact. Ackerman's Dracula Ring, House of Dracula, 1945, $46,000. Bella Lugosi's ring is also one of the most popular Dracula memorabilia of all time. It featured in many movies, including House of Frankenstein, made in 1944 by John Carradine, and Abbott and Costello Meet Frankenstein, also starring Bella Lugosi in 1948. It was sold as part of other treasures kept by Forey Ackerman alongside his personal property, although it stood out as one of the all-time favorite horror movie memorabilia. It fetched $46,000 in the New York auction in May 2009. So this brings us to the conclusion of today's video. Let us know in the comments below which artifact you like the most. Till then, hope to see you in another video.